Echoes of the Unseen The antique shop was dimly lit, its shelves lined with curiosities and oddities from times long past, amongst the dusty relics. I spotted it a weathered wooden board, adorned with strange symbols and letters, a Ouija board. Intrigued by the idea of communing with the spirit world, I purchased the board without hesitation. Unaware of the darkness that lurked within its ancient surface, that night I gathered with a group of friends, eager to test the limits of the supernatural. We lit candles and arranged ourselves around the Ouija board, our fingers lightly resting on the planket, with trembling anticipation. We called out to the spirits, inviting them to communicate with us from beyond the grave. At first, there was nothing but silence, a deafening silence that seemed to stretch on for eternity. But then, ever so slowly, the planquette began to move, gliding effortlessly across the surface of the board. Excitement coursed through us as we watched, in awe, our hearts pounding with anticipation. We asked the spirit questions, eager for answers from the other side, but as the session progressed, the atmosphere in the room grew increasingly tense, the answers we received became darker, more sinister, as if the spirits were toying with us, taunting us with their knowledge of the unknown. And then, without warning, the planquette flew off the board. Crushing to the floor with a deafening thud, the candles flickered and died, plunging the room into darkness. A sense of unease settled over us like a suffocating blanket, and I knew in that moment that we had awakened something far more sinister than we had bargained for. As the night wore on, strange occurrences began to unfold. Objects moved of their own accord, strange shadows danced on the walls, and an icy chill settled over the room. We tried to dismiss the phenomena as mere coincidence, but deep down, we knew that something was terribly wrong. With each passing moment, the darkness seemed to close in around us, suffocating us with its malevolent presence. And then, just when we thought we could take no more, the spirit spoke a chilling whisper that seemed to echo through the very fabric of our souls. They told us of a curse that had been unleashed upon the world, a curse born from the depths of the Ouija board itself. They spoke of ancient rituals and unspeakable horrors, of souls trapped between the worlds of the living and the dead. Terrified, we tried to end the session, to banish the spirits back to the darkness from whence they came, but it was too late. The curse had been unleashed, and there was no escaping its grasp. As the days passed, the curse grew stronger, its malevolent influence spreading like a plague. Strange phenomena plagued us wherever we went and the spirit's whispers haunted our every waking moment. Desperate for answers, we turned to experts in the occult, seeking a way to break the curse that had ensnared us, but the more we learned, the more hopeless our situation seemed. The curse was ancient, its origins shrouded in mystery, and there was no easy way to undo the damage we had wrought. In the end, we were left with no choice but to live with the consequences of our actions to endure the horrors that lurked within the cursed Ouija board until the end of our days. And as I sit here now, haunted by the echoes of the unseen, I can't help but wonder what other horrors lie waiting in the shadows, just beyond our comprehension. Whispers from Beyond the night was still, the air heavy with an oppressive silence that seemed to suffocate the very soul. I sat with my friends in the dimly lit room, surrounded by flickering candles and the faint scent of incense. Before us lay the object of our curiosity, and dread accursed Ouija board, its wooden surface etched with ancient symbols and foreboding glyphs. Little did we know that our innocent curiosity would unleash a terror beyond comprehension, a horror that would haunt us for the rest of our days. The idea had been born out of boredom, 
a foolish attempt to entertain ourselves on a dreary Friday night. We had heard the stories, the tales of those who had dabbled in the occult, and paid the ultimate price, yet, in our youthful arrogance, we believed ourselves immune to such superstitions, how wrong we were. As we placed our hands upon the planquette and invoked the spirits, a sense of a knees settled over the room like a shroud for the air seemed to grow thick with an otherworldly energy, and the candles flickered as if struggling against an unseen force, yet, despite the ominous atmosphere, we pressed on, eager to make contact with the other side. At first, the responses were innocuous a series of random letters and numbers that seemed to hold no meaning, yet, as the night wore on and our questions grew more desperate, the responses grew more sinister. It was as if something malevolent had latched onto our presence, feeding off our fear and growing stronger with each passing moment. Then, with a suddenness that sent a chill down my spine, the planquette began to move of its own accord. It glided across the surface of the board, with an unnatural smoothness, spelling out words that filled us with a sense of dread. The entity we had summoned claimed to be a lost soul, a spirit trapped between the realms of the living and the dead, desperate for release. As the night stretched on, the atmosphere in the room grew increasingly tense, the air heavy with the weight of unseen eyes watching from the shadows. I could feel a presence in the room, a malevolent force that seemed to coil around us like a serpent, its icy touch sending shivers down my spine. With each passing moment, the entity's demands grew more urgent, its cries for release becoming increasingly desperate, yet, as much as we wished to help, we knew not how to free the spirit from its eternal torment, and so, we continued to play our deadly game, hoping against hope that we could find a way to appease the restless soul. But as the night wore on, an exhaustion began to take its toll, the entity's demands grew more insistent, its cries for release bordering on madness. It was then that we realised the true horror of our situation, that we had unwittingly unleashed a terror beyond our comprehension, a force that would stop at nothing to claim our souls for its own. In a moment of desperation, I reached for the candles, hoping to snuff out their flickering light and banish the entity from our midst. But as I touched the flame, a searing pain shot through my hand, and I recoiled in horror as I saw the words etched into my flesh a warning from beyond the grave, a reminder that some secrets are better left buried. With a sense of growing dread, we realised that our only hope of survival lay in ending the cursed game once and for all. With trembling hands, we bid farewell to the entity and placed the planquette back in its box sealing it away for all, eternity. Yet, even as we did so, we knew that the horror we had, unleashed would never truly be banished that its whispers would haunt us for the rest of our days, a constant reminder of the darkness that lurked just beyond the veil of reality.